something that just came up on therapy.net and what it is you might ask well some distributions are going to be happening throughout, throughout this year what are these distributions you might ask well apparently apparently what they decided uh, project game freak has decided that throughout February to November they're going to be distributing out legendaries what kind of legendaries well basically the version exclusive legendaries from Ultra Sun and Moon. Why they're doing this? Well, I guess they want, want to basically say that they want to make 2018 the year for legendary Pokemon. Because let's be honest here, we all love we all love legendary Pokemon. I know, granted, that we don't like all the legendary Pokemon because because believe me, I don't like all the legendary Pokemon, especially especially you, Fiona. <laughs> but that's kind of derailed from the. So what it is they're doing here is that for 2018, they're going to be distributing a lot of legendaries, most of them in pairs, except for one in particular, as a way of saying, hey, we're going to make 2018 quite a legendary year. So from what they say here is that these special distributions will be in stores throughout the year. These offers... Like these offer the various version exclusive legendary Pokemon in the games that weren't available in. So like pretty much say for Ultra Sun and Moon, that there's a, there's basically one version exclusive legendary to another. Like say um Groudon being an Ultra Sun and Kyogre being an Ultra Moon. So with these distributions, you'll be able to get those those version exclusive legendaries and go out and some of them you can go after like the third legendary. Like Permit Save for Kyogre and Groudon, you get both those two in one version. And then go up to the Ultra Wormholes, you could be able to go after Rayquaza. Excuse me. Anyway, um depending on which game you're using to get these legendaries, they will differ very slightly. Because these legendaries can be obtained in Ultra Sun and Moon and regular Sun and Moon. But here but here's the slight difference between the two. If you were to get these legendaries in regular Sun and Moon, they will be level 60. But if you get them in Ultra Sun and Moon, they will be level 100 holding a gold bottle cap. Which we all know what those do when you put them in hyper training. So now here is the legendaries that are being distributed and which month they're going to be distributed. So for the case of February, February will be Dialga and Palkia. And what they say here, that Dialga and Palkia will be in game in the UK and GameStop in the United States, which that'll be for me because I live in the United States. So yeah, February will be distributing Dialga and Palkia. March will be Regigigas and Heatran. And believe me, when I found out that Regigigas was an Ultra Moon, I was like, dang it, I really wanted to SR for a Shiny Regigigas because I'm the one to say Shiny Regigigas is one of my favorite Shiny Legendaries. Because I feel as though that the bluish purple color just goes just goes well with Regigigas and just makes them look better. Hey, that's just me. But I mean, Heatran's not that bad. I mean, I really do like Heatran. Now for April. April will distribute out Raikou and Entei. Which, I don't know why for some reason, it was just so freaking weird that in Ultra Sun and Moon that you need Raikou and Entei to get Suicune. It, it's, it's just really weird. I, I don't get it. For May, 
May will be Xerneas and Yveltal. I mean, I really wanted to um, SR for Shiny Yveltal, but it's an Ultra Moon, so I was I was with Xerneas. But let me tell you, Xerneas definitely one of the most majestic looking legendaries I've ever seen, and his Shiny just makes it look even better. Now for June. Oh boy. June is going to be giving off something pretty good. Now, let me uh, let me ask you something. Do you all remember that one other distributed event in the past where where they distributed out Shiny Xerneas, Shiny Eveltal, and regular Zygarde? And personally for me, I was kind of upset because they didn't distribute out Shiny Zygarde during that event. Well, those worries are over, because for June, they are going to be distributing out Shiny Zygarde. Yes, Shiny Zygarde is finally being distributed after, probably most likely since the, ever since the moment that X and Y got released and people were going after Zygarde, and they were wondering if he was Shiny Locked or not, and then realizing that he was, and that was pretty much a letdown. And it was also more of a letdown when the Shiny Xerneas, Yveltal, and regular Zygarde event came about. And we, and I wouldn't be surprised if, I, if there were a lot of people out there who, ups, who were upset that that they distributed Shiny Xerneas, Shiny Yveltal, but just regular Zygarde. But now, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Because, because now, with this legendary year of 2018 event going on, for the month of June, we can be able to get Shiny Zygarde. Although, granted for me, that I used... I used PK Hex to get my own Shiny Zygarde, to get the um, the Shiny 10% form and the Shiny Complete form. So yeah. So yeah, call me, call me whatever you want for that. But I just I just did it because I just wanted one. It's like because you really honestly think that I'm gonna take a a um, Gen Din Shiny Zygarde anywhere? <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, for July, July is going to be. Tornadus and Thunderous. Yep. For August will be Kyogre and Groudon. September is going to be Latios and Latios. October is going to be Rashram and Zekrom. And finally, for November, will be Yugia and Hoa. And also, as a little side note, in addition to this, both Pokemon Go and Pokemon Shuffle will have various tie-in events throughout the year. And they also have updated their event database with listings of the event, so we can just take a look at that real quick. And if we go to 2018, they pretty much have all the legendaries listed down, but so far, only the event Dialga and Palkia have full details of what they have. And they'll probably most likely release like the details for like the other legendaries when it gets close to that time. So basically for Dialga and Palkia, um, they they will always have the pressure ability. Um, the ID in OT is unknown. It'll probably under probably under our name or something. I don't know really. Um, again, depending on which game you're bringing them into, they're going to be level 60. And hold no item if they're in Sun and Moon, but they will be level 100 holding in Gold Bottle Cap if you brought them in to Ultra Sun and Moon. And keep this in mind that these legendaries will always be in the Cherish Ball. So yeah. So with Dialga and Palkia, um, they're also saying here that this is possibly going to be a serial code event. Um, Palkia here will have the moves Spatial Rend, Aura Sphere. Draco Meteor and Hydro Pump. And for Dialga, we'll have Roar Time, Aura Sphere, Draco Meteor, and Flash Cannon. So basically, they'll be having a signature move, um, a, basically a fighting move, a dragon move, and another move that will benefit their secondary typing. So, with the case of Dialga, it'll be Flash Cannon because he's part of Steel type, and Palkia with Hydro Pump because it is a, it is a water type. Though, some people kind of Kind of argue as to why Palkia has part water type, but there, there, there's like videos out there that would explain why Palkia has water type. But yeah, what I'm seeing here for the rest of the legendaries, they have not released like what moves they'll have and 
what levels they're going to be, but most likely they'll just be like below 60s to 100 like they said, but just not knowing of what movesets they'll have. But yeah, all I'm going to say is that this is a nice, this will be a nice little something that will be happening throughout the year. But again, for June, Shiny's Eye Guard finally being distributed after all this time. But it kind of makes you wonder, will, will, sh will this shiny side guard have its regular ability? Or maybe have the power construct ability? Who knows? Because it would be nice if if the shiny side guard came with the power construct ability, so that way people can be able to get like their their shiny complete form side guard, because I myself have this through the means of PK Hex, but hey, I just I just had it there just for showcase purposes. But uh, yeah, this will be a nice little something for people to look forward to because because with certain pairs they could be able to go after the third legendary for the for that duo. So basically, with Dialga and Palakia, they can go after Giratina. Raikou and Entei, they can go after Suicune. Um, Tornadus and Thunderous, they can go after Landorus. Kyogre and Groudon, they can go after Rayquaza. Um, Rashram and Zekrom, they'll be able to go after Kirim. So that's gonna be pretty cool right there. So, that'll pretty much do it for this bit, bit of news here, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, and as always, my outro shall handle the rest, so I'll be seeing you guys next time. <laughs>